What are your thoughts on the new Varho making a VR headset with a brain-controlled interface? Do you think that's what could make the push from for VR to become less of an experience and more of an everyday product? Uh, I would say that the brain control interface stuff would have to be way better than any version I have ever used. <laughs> um, and I doubt it. <laughs> um, if it was, then sweet. But I find a lot of them end up turning into um, uh, less less like neural impulse control and more uh, facial muscle movements um, because you actually get a lot more man, it's been a long time since I've read this up. So I'm going to say some things wrong, but like the electrical, whatever stuff, you get a lot more of it by just like smiling. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, so a lot of it ends up being like, you just move your face around and that inter interfaces with it better. Um, but I mean, it, it, I've, maybe they have a way better version. I don't know. I'd love to try this thing yeah. at the very least. Yeah, uh, for apparently sure. Apparently it's crazy, crazy high resolution. And I think it costs like two grand or something like that. Like what? Damn. Oh, the arrow. Well, okay. I think the arrow is not the like crazy. Oh, okay. Well, that one's two grand. So there's that. Uh, man. I... Could it possibly be worth double a Valve Index? Uh, yeah. Valve Index is kind of old at this point. I guess that's. I guess that's fair. Especially in a market that's like so cutting edge yeah yeah i guess that's i guess that's fair it's just it's easy to forget 200 hertz oh no that's the eye tracking i guess it's easy to forget that there's a ton of other vr headset companies out there they just are almost all focused on commercial products because that's where the money is someone tagged me saying eeg it's not an eeg though <laughs> they're not like wiring you up I don't, I seriously doubt that a company is going to trust end users to wire themselves up with an EEG properly. Um, like that's, I, I, I've never seen this product. I didn't pay enough attention when you were showing it on screen to look for how they did it. Mm -hmm. I can pretty much guarantee you they didn't do it that way. <laughs> um, so it's, yeah, I don't know. Um, again, if it's way better, that's fantastic. I'm not saying it isn't. I'm just saying the ones that I have used were like far from ready for that type of application. Or they're far from ready to rely on. Yeah. I just want to jump in really quick. Some people are talking about the uh, EEG thing. Uh, yes, it is It is facial. Uh, some people have confirmed that it is facial. And I, I bet you, because it's facial, there's going to be huge amounts of interference from you moving your face. And if you ever want right. to be in an application where you'd have, like, a voice call, you talking is probably going to introduce lots of problems. Now, if they can prove me wrong... Like I said earlier, that's awesome. I don't want to be right about this. It sounds like it could be really cool. Um, I just have never seen one that's anywhere near ready for a to, to be relied on in this type of situation. Um, and I doubt that it is ready. But if it is, that's great. I would I would love to be wrong. That explains a ton. I mean, obviously at that price it would come with a free facial. <laughs> <laughs> next <laughs> no we gotta let him sit in that for a second. <laughs> thanks for watching and thanks to secret lab for sponsoring this week's clips secret lab chairs are engineered to keep you comfy and with up to five years of warranty and a 49 day return policy you're covered if anything goes wrong head to the link in the description to check out secret lab chairs today